Here are the most recent deaths in the national news, plus people's reactions to those deaths from social media, as seen at Legacy.com in the fourth week of July 2022. Actor Paul Sorvino died July 25, 2022, at the Mayo Clinic in Jacksonville, Florida. He died of natural causes at the age of 83. He was one of the stars of Goodfellas, playing the mob boss Polly Cicero. Sorvino is also being remembered for starring on Law & Order, as well as many other movie and TV roles ranging from Star Trek The Next Generation to The Goldbergs. He was the father of actress Mira Sorvino. Actor Tony Dow died July 27, 2022, of cancer at the age of 77. He was best known for his starring role on the classic sitcom Leave It to Beaver, playing older brother Wally Cleaver. Dow is also being remembered as a director who worked on TV shows including Coach and Star Trek Deep Space Nine. Actor Torian Black died July 21st, 2022, in Atlanta. He died after a short illness at the age of 82. He was best known for his Emmy-nominated performance on the TV series Hill Street Blues, playing Detective Neil Washington. Black is also being remembered as an adoption advocate, who is asked by President George H.W. Bush to serve as a national spokesman on adoption. Actor David Warner died July 24, 2022, at Denville Hall in London. He died of cancer at the age of 80. He played iconic roles in movies including Titanic, Time Bandits, The Omen, and Time After Time. Warner is also being remembered for TV appearances, including Star Trek The Next Generation and Batman the Animated Series. Chef Diana Kennedy died July 24, 2022, at her home in Zitacuaro, Mexico, at the age of 99. She was known as the Julia Child of Mexican Cuisine for her work to promote and preserve the country's traditional recipes. Kennedy is being remembered for influencing a new generation of chefs to explore the cuisines of Mexico. Filmmaker Bob Rafelson died July 23, 2022, at his home in Aspen, Colorado. He died of lung cancer at the age of 89. He directed movies including Five Easy Pieces, as well as producing Easy Rider and The Last Picture Show. He is also being remembered for co-creating The Monkees, as well as co-writing and directing their feature film Head. Rafelson was a U.S. Army veteran who served in Japan in the 1950s. Football player Jim Lynch died July 21, 2022, at the age of 76. He played for the Kansas City Chiefs for 11 seasons in the 1960s and 70s, including helping the team to victory at Super Bowl IV. Lynch is also being remembered for his college football career at Notre Dame, where he was an All-American and a Maxwell Award winner. Singer and actress Shanka Ducare died July 21, 2022, at her home in Nashville, Tennessee, at the age of 44. She played Big Mama Thornton in the 2022 movie Elvis, singing the R&B legend's influential song Hound Dog. Duke Ray is also being remembered for her own music. She was set to release her debut album this year. Politician David Trimble died July 25, 2022, after a short illness at the age of 77. He won the Nobel Peace Prize in 1998 for his work negotiating for peace between Northern Ireland and the United Kingdom. Trimble is also being remembered as the first person elected First Minister of Northern Ireland. Baseball player Dwight Smith died July 22, 2022, of congestive heart and lung failure at the age of 58. 
He played for the Chicago Cubs in the 1980s and 90s, and he was runner-up for Rookie of the Year in 1989. Smith is also being remembered for winning the 1995 World Series with the Atlanta Braves, as well as playing for the California Angels and Baltimore Orioles. Writer Sid Jacobson died July 23, 2022, at a hospice facility in Redwood City, California. He died of a stroke at the age of 92. He worked for Harvey Comics, where he co-created and wrote titles including Richie Rich and Casper the Friendly Ghost. Jacobson is also being remembered as a songwriter. He wrote Frankie Avalon's top 10 hit, A Boy Without a Girl. Actress Yoko Shimada died July 25, 2022, at a hospital in Tokyo. She died of complications from colorectal cancer at the age of 69. She starred in the popular TV miniseries Shogun, playing the leading role of Lady Toda Mariko. Shimada is also being remembered for performances in movies including Castle of Sand and The Hunted. You may not know that any family can place an obituary on Legacy in honor of a loved one's memory. Just visit Legacy.com and select your local community. Every week in the United States, flags are lowered to half-staff to honor the lives of Americans whose communities are mourning their loss. Here are the most recent half-staff memorial flag honors. Flags in New York have been lowered to honor the memory of Officer Anthony Mazurkowitz, who died in the line of duty. Flags in Idaho have been lowered to honor the memory of firefighters Thomas Tommy Hayes of Post Falls and Jared Bird of Anchorage, Alaska, who died in the line of duty. Flags in Wisconsin have been lowered to honor the memory of former State Senator Jeffrey T. Plale. Flags in Ohio have been lowered to honor the memory of Clark County Sheriff's Deputy Matthew Yates. Flags in Oklahoma have been lowered to honor the memory of Edmund Police Officer C.J. Nelson. Flags in New Jersey have been lowered to honor the memory of Assemblyman Ronald Dancer. Flags in Missouri and Kansas have been lowered to honor the memory of North Kansas City Police Department Officer Daniel F. Vasquez. Flags in Virginia have been lowered to honor the memory of former State Delegate John Jack Reed and former State Senator Charles L. Waddell. This week also marks several notable anniversaries. Ten years ago this week, astronaut Sally Ride died of pancreatic cancer at the age of 61. Ten years ago this week, actor Sherman Hemsley died of superior vena cava syndrome at the age of 74. Thirty years ago this week, singer Mary Wells died of cancer at the age of 49. Actor Philip Seymour Hoffman was born 55 years ago this week. He died in 2014 of an accidental drug overdose at the age of 46. Actor Jason Robards was born 100 years ago this week. He died in 2000 of lung cancer at the age of 78. Aviator Amelia Earhart was born 125 years ago this week. She was declared dead in 1939 after disappearing while circumnavigating the globe in 1937. You can read more about the lives of the people featured in this video on Legacy.com. You can also follow Legacy.com on Facebook and subscribe to our channel on YouTube to stay up to date on national news deaths and reactions.